Well, thank you very much for coming. As you know, the inaugural Formula Student Bosch Diesel Eco Driving Challenge, don't try and say that too quickly, um, was a rip-roaring success, and it was down to a big team effort. So thank you very much for all of you taking part. Uh, we know that you had some trials and tribulations along the way, um, but hopefully you got a lot out of it, and it was a really good experience. So thank you very much. Um, as you know, we hit 1,701 miles, and it took just over three days, and it was 46 universities. So um, we are here today to present the winners, uh, and there will be three categories, and we've this today had a uh, very privilege to have Matt Neal, UASA Honda Touring Car Champion three times, racing driver here with us today. So can we get a round of applause for Matt, please? Thank you very much. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over to David Falker, uh, the Marketing Director for Bosch Automotive UK. Right, uh, morning everybody. Um, thank you, Fiona. Yeah, on behalf of uh, Robert Bosch and um, Bosch Engineering Group as well, um, we're delighted to be um, gold sponsor of the Formula Student event. And um, Fiona asked us to get more involved with, in terms of uh, the program. And um, we thought that the, uh, the Diesel Eco Drive Challenge was a good way to do it. Um, diesel is still, as you well know, um, a powered train of choice. Uh, by uh, certainly in the UK market, and um, our diesel division were delighted to get involved with this, uh, this programme. Um, as Fiona said, um, two weeks ago we ran a competition through um, England, uh, Wales and Scotland, and um, basically we had um, three categories um, of driving. One was um, city driving, one was rural, and one was highway. And also, um, we also looked at um, an overall winner as well in terms of uh, eco, eco driving. More of that in a moment. Um, my colleagues here who helped me with the event, um, I did ask them for one or two anecdotes of um, how you all performed on the program. Um, it is very interesting actually trying to combine um, diesel um, performance economy engine with eco driving techniques, which we all witnessed um, from some of you anyway. Um, I recall um, one or two of you brought along some friends who, um, one was like um, in, in different cars, one had a pace car, one had a car behind you, and to sort of help with the sort of wind flow. Um, when we downloaded the, uh, the data, we recognized that uh, no one was doing more than uh, 56 miles an hour, so you are doing your homework there, and obviously take notice from the uh, AA instructor. Um, but what I would say, guys, you know, it's very, very embarrassing to be overtaken by a, um, a car pulling a caravan, okay? <laughs> I mean, that was just the, uh, you know, but hey, you took it all, um, you know, very well. And um, certainly from, a, from an eco point of view, um, you did exceptionally well, linking both the driving techniques, as I say, to the, uh, um, to the um, performance of the, of the diesel engine. We were very... Um, privileged to be uh, um, uh, the Ford Motor Company loan us the vehicles to be able to do it, the 1.5 Fiesta diesel, which has got the uh, Bosch power diesel technology on board, uh, which no doubt helped towards the, uh, some of the figures which I'll announce in a moment. And also a big thanks to um, the former student partner, Shell, who helped us with the, uh, with the fuel. I know they're not here today, but um, Fiona will be representing them. So without further ado, because I know you've all got a busy day. Whoops. What I'd like to do, if I may, is just um, announce the results and get some of my colleagues to, um, to help me. As I say, basically there was three categories of eco-driving, um, city, urban, rural, and highway. And um, I was um, there with our engineers as we downloaded from the black box the, the data. And what the engineers were looking at was for these categories, specifically looking at the, the economy that um, you delivered in the, either the city leg or the rural leg or, or the highway leg. But then also there's one overall winner which we'll announce um, at the end and we'll get the cup, which is the, looks at the entire distance in terms of the uh, miles per gallon that was delivered. Okay, 
So in the great X Factor British Got Talent style, let's get the music going and let's um, start announcing the, the winners. So for the first winner, which the first category, which was the city urban category, and I'm also going to announce the, uh, what that person um, delivered in terms of MPG. This person delivered 77.74 miles per gallon representing University of Southampton, Lewis Morgan. Lewis, if you'd like to come out. Congratulations, Lewis. I thought from an unscientific point of view, sitting behind you in the galaxy, that it was between you and another driver. And uh, I guess it was you, so that was absolutely brilliant. Uh, Lewis went in the night from Southampton to Exeter. And yeah, a really faultless drive. Congratulations. Tell us, tell us your, um, you know, your, your driving tips. What happened to deliver that performance? Oh, it was just, um, there was, it was empty roads, so it was fairly easy to <laughs> <laughs> keep speed and everything. And then it was just go as fast over the roundabouts, and it was there wasn't many traffic lights and things like that, so we had a clay run really. Okay. If I'm right as well, that yeah. you're, are you with sponsorship with Ford and Ford yeah. Graduate Scheme? Yeah, I've got a Ford scholarship. Oh, how about yeah, that? Yeah. That's, that's good. That's interesting. Yeah. Good. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good to see you. All right. Well done. Well done. Okay, on to the uh, rural category. And this driver delivered a stunning um, performance of 81, 81.07 miles per gallon from Liverpool John Moore's Lawrence Ulmar. Is Lawrence here? Is he here? Yes, here he comes. Okay. Hey, I'm doing it. Yeah, you're doing it. No, Nick. Nick, what am I doing? You're doing it. Oh, lovely. I'm doing that next one. Like <laughs> Lawrence, Lawrence, congratulations. There you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you very much. There you go. Good. Lawrence, do you want me to say a few, some fair few words? Okay. How, how, did, how, did, how did you achieve then 81.07? Give us the secret. Um, a lot of luck and a little bit of talent. But no, just <laughs> sli slipstreaming lorries, looking as far ahead as you can, yeah. It was quite fun, yeah. Okay. I think his secret was handing, handing over driving in the middle of a very salubrious car park on the, which was it, the M M62. M6, M62. <laughs> yeah. Thank yes, you. Thank you. So the final category before we announce the overall winner is to the highway category and, and our engineers told me that this is where they expect to get a high um, economy drive, a high eco drive and, sh and so it proved. For the highway category this driver delivered a fantastic 90, 90 90.42 miles per gallon. He's the guy to be with isn't he in terms of the um, representing Oxford Brooks, Adam Stevens. Adam Stevens. Uh, I drove uh, from Oxford Brooks down to Hertfordshire University. Um, and was your success all talent? Uh, according to George, apparently, yes. Uh, I always get called Captain Slow, so this is, uh, <laughs> this is now proof, which I don't know is good or bad, but anyway. You're going to take it. Definitely. Congratulations. Thank you. So we need the, um, the drums rolling now because we now come to the... Uh, the first name to go on the cup of the Formula Student Diesel Eco Drive. Bosch is delighted to announce that uh, uh, it went so well that we're going to do it next year. So um, please tell your colleagues because uh, so there will be a program in 2014. But for 2013, the Formula Student Diesel Eco Driver Champion, who averaged across the whole journey that he did, 85.66 miles per gallon, from Aberdeen University, Simon Esselmund. Well, 
I'll have to say I wasn't expecting this at all. Um, yeah, um, I think it was mentioned once before, David, that you mentioned that uh, there was a caravan overtaking you and things. Um, there was a point coming through town, I do remember, um, a, motor, uh, a, a cyclist undertaking me. Um, I was basically about 15, 20 miles an hour. I just want, I didn't want to use any fuel at all. I didn't realize that all the effort um, that it took and patience um, not to use that accelerator actually paid off. Um, I'd like to thank Bosch and uh, INEC Eve for all their uh, involvement in this and I hope the, the very best for next year. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that um, concludes that part. What I would ask is the prize winners to uh, return to stage um, um, afterwards, if you would, just for a photograph, etc. Thank you all very much for taking part. It, as I say, it was a three-day e e non-stop eco-driving challenge. We saw some of you very, very early in the early morning, but you all represented your universities fantastically. Thank you, and look forward to 2014. Have a great day.